Hi Virgo, welcome to your love reading from now till the end of January 2022. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe and like my video. That way you'll get additional um, videos, notifications of videos that I post. I do do daily readings, um, basically just daily general readings. And then I'm going to do, obviously, love readings for each sign. I'm running a contest um, between each group of signs, fire, water, air, and earth. The most liked um, video and watch in each group. I'm going to do an additional love reading next week. And then if you guys do not fall in that category, I will be back on in February to do a beginning of the month love reading. If this does not completely resonate, please check your moon um, and your rising sign. I don't know if I'm going to take this because I didn't. It says flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. All right, let's see if it comes out. Universe, spirit guides. Please show Virgo and the person that is currently on their mind. The message that they need to say. Cross watchers, welcome. Calling in your soulmate and free yourself. It's time to take back control in your life. All right, let's see what else comes out. I have whispers of love. We bought these on Amazon. They're a little bit bigger than the um, traditional cards. So it's a little hard to shuffle, but I'm going to do my best. I never have reversals in this deck. Okay, universe, spirit guides, please show Virgo the message that they need to see from love from now till the end of January 20. The messaging. Okay, great. Okay, number 16. Love is all around you. There is love everywhere all the time. Sip simply acknowledge this as truth. Alright, guys, and at the bottom, speak the language of love. Loving words have the power to change lives, including your own. There is always love around everybody. You know, you're never completely alone. The universe always has your back. And if you're tuning into readings like this, you might have just recently gone through a dark time. I did years ago, which led me to uh, spirituality and going within and So if you are going through that, always know that love is always around you. But you'll get it, you'll get to the point where you realize that. Just make sure to trust the universe. And whatever it is that you resonate with, your spirit guides, archangels, whatever it is, Buddha. Okay, universe spirit guides, please show me the energy Virgo has towards their person that they're currently thinking about for this reading. Virgo's energy towards that person that they're currently thinking about for this reading. The sun. The sun's been coming out with the um the with the um oh my god earth signs at the bottom of the deck is the Six of Cups. So it could be a fire sign that you're feeling, but you, you feel this happiness, this warmth and passion for the person that you clicked on this video for. Six of Cups might be somebody from the past. What is their energy towards my Virgo when it comes to love? Their energy towards my Virgo. Their energy towards my Virgo. The Hierophant. 
So they have this definitely a depth, deeper level of commitment for you. Like more of a... Um, um, you know, uh, they have an old soul. It's... You know what I'm trying to say. Like an, an old soul's energy. Like they have a higher level of commitment for you. What is their current situation? Renewal, judgment. You know, guys, for the first thing I want to point out is that these are our ma all major arcana cards. And they're all like very strong major arcana cards. Sun, Hierophant, Judgment. So this is definitely your soulmate that you're thinking of. What is the advice towards Virgo and their person? The advice towards Virgo and their person. Wow. Transformation. You're spiritually bonded. And another major arcana at the bottom of the deck, justice. All right, guys, there's not much more. Let's see what the final outcome is for Virgo and their person they're currently thinking about. When that flew out, I just saw the lover's card. The bottom of the deck is the Ten of Cups and Ego. Okay. I'm going to, I have to pull another card. Ten of Cups is at the bottom of the deck, but I want to get clarity on this ego. Let me, I'm going to do it this way so you can see it. Archangels, universe, please come to me and clarify ego. You're definitely, um, with the Hierophant there, you're divinely guided with renewal. Could be a reconciliation because the Six of Cups was at the bottom of the up uh, with the deck when, you know, at one point. So it could be a reconciliation. But I want to clarify ego. Please clarify the ego card. Please come to me and clarify the ego. With ego here, it's like the illusion of being trapped. And the two of swords is here. All right. With the, okay. I'm going to go with the ego and the queen of swords is that transformation is the advice. So you definitely are divinely guided and you definitely feel like this person is the person with the sun card here. Renewal being the um, the present situation. You might just be reconciling or coming back towards each other. You've made a decision to come back towards each other. But you have to come back transformed and grounded. You have to come back not with your egos. Um, not with your egos, but with your heart. Come back knowing what you're going to tolerate, come back grounded, not feeling trapped. Come, You're going to come back because the two of you want to be with each other. With wise counselor here, the Hierophant, it's definitely a higher level of commitment and calling in your soulmate. Um, this is a deeper bond for you guys. But it, with the current advice being transformation, the two of you need to go in, see what your mistakes were that may have drew you apart from each other. And come back grounded and not with your egos, not with a shield in front of you and your egos at the very, like the very front line. You need to come in strong, but strong, but ready to cut out what you're not going to tolerate, ready to make the changes so that you can have this relationship that you two are destined for. All right, I'm going to pull a couple more romance cards. Spirit guides. Universe, can you please give me a few more messages for my Virgo and the current person you're thinking about? Okay. 
Okay, I already see it. It says potential, fulfillment, risk, achievement. Your potential is limitless. I'm going to put that on renewal. Guys, you need to remember why the two of you were drawn to each other in the beginning. This is, like I said, this soulmate calling in your soulmate. You're calling in this deeper bond between the two of you. Ego. Oh, my God. Ego. Pride. Jealousy. Self-preservation. Walls. Let your guard down. Guys, that's what you need to do. You need to let, that, let your guard down and think with your heart. When the, when the two of you finally decide to come together with communication. Let that guard down. Remember, with judgment and wise counselor here, it's divinely got, oh God, twin flames. Yeah, that came out for Taurus too. Our signs, these are having the best readings so far. There is a healing that needs to take place. So I do really believe it's with somebody from the past. But with the sun card here, they're your everything. They're your happiness, which... Let me say, always have happiness within. Nobody is ever your happiness. You make your own happiness. They add to your happiness. But you definitely have this warmth and loving feeling towards them. And it's definitely divinely guided. Could be your twin flame or your soulmate, but it's that stronger bond that's going to bring the two of you back together. You have the potential, but you have to come in with your guard down. The two of you have to come in with your guard down. And knowing what your what kind of relationship you guys want to go forward with. All right, Virgo. So if you are the most liked and watch video, we will be back next week for more additional messages, maybe for this reading or another reading. A totally different reading for somebody else. But I will be back next week if it's your video. Um, love and light. Tune in for my daily readings. I will be back tomorrow. I just I'm about to post the daily reading for today once I get through the last sign, Capricorn. And please um, subscribe and like my videos. Love and light, Virgo. Have a great day.